Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Still got Nick with us here for uh, 2022 Bowman Baseball. Eight box jumbo, pick your team number one, brand new release just dropped today. Big thanks to everybody here for grabbing your teams. If you have little rooftops next to your name, that means you won those teams and those fillers. Appreciate everybody getting involved in that as well. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. It's May 4th, may the 4th be with you. Hopefully the 4th, the force, will be with you in this break. Now this is jumbo edition, so that means three autographs per box. And I think everyone read the instructions on the uh, description. No vet paper, no rookie paper, or prospect paper will ship. Only Bowman first paper cards will ship, which is a change, which is actually an upgrade from previous years where we've traditionally not shipped any paper at all. So this year, you'll be getting the Bowman Firsts paper. And obviously all the hits, all the numbered paper, all the inserts, those of course will all ship as usual. Got the sounds of uh, Angels baseball in the background. Taylor Ward, who's been on fire, just hit a two-run bomb over the green monster in the top of the 10th to give the Angels a 6-4 lead. What's going on here? What's with, what's with your Angels playing well? Mm -hmm. I don't know. They were just, they just weren't good last year. Well, Trout was out the whole year. True, true. I they feel didn't like have notes in their guard. They didn't have you know what you know what's Mike better or is uh, or... the relief pitching is a lot better yeah, because there I don't know how many games last year I would just bet on the bet against the Angels because I knew their bullpen would blow it in like the last three innings but that that has been the big change to me I think their bullpen's been able to lock it down more often than not so a long game. Uh oh, Rex is acting to you, Nick. Joe and Jason continuously refuse to give him a free hobby box of Prism Basketball. What do you say to that? I told them to, but it's oh, okay. It's we're the we're, we're the bad guys. Yeah, we're the bad guys. Here's another jumbo box right here as well. All right, good luck, everybody. So just. In case you're just seeing this for the first time, so stuff like this won't ship. These won't ship. Even I know they say rookies on it, but they don't ship. These guys don't ship. All right, obviously that ships. Obviously that ships because it's Edward Cabrera blue paper. And look at that, some gold shimmer right here. So this will ship to Mark and the Marlins. And we got Brandon Valenzuela, 22 out of 50. Valenzuela. Gold Shimmer for the Pirates. That definitely ships to Chad and the Pirates. Rex says, I knew it. Insubordination. I told him to give you a free hit pack too today, but wow. I don't think you joined the Instagram stream, so we sold it. Just snooze, you lose, Rex. But we had a sign up. Free pack for Rex as soon as he gets into the chat. Nothing. All right, insert ship, of course, those ship. Chrome, obviously, all ships. That's Chrome first, so that obviously ships. This won't ship. We saw Shailen Polanco a while ago. Uh, but these Bowman first papers will ship this time. There is Eddie's Leonard. 150 out of 150, blue shimmer. I really like that design this year where they, it's almost like a tech tech sort of look in the background there. That goes to Jason and the Dodgers, won that in the Can you filler. pick whoever you want to go on second in next innings or does it have to be the guy who was last at bat? Last at, last out maker, I believe. How's that Tommy already back? I think they had more at bats. I think they'll, maybe not. Maybe he made the, maybe he was the last runner on base then. I don't know, it's a stupid rule. Yeah, at that point, they might as well just do it in the ninth inning, too. Yeah. Why not? Why not just do it every inning? Yeah. 
And it's only regular season, not playoffs. Not playoffs, I know, yeah. They're just trying to speed the game up, I guess. I don't know, I think. I, I kind of object to it, like, right in the 10th inning. Why would why not just give them an inning or two just to do it the yeah. old way? And then if it gets to, like, the 12th or 13th inning, then be like, hey, we'll put the no, runner like on second. I, I think it should go forever. Like that Dodgers-Red Sox one Right, you're not going to have those games. Right. In like 15, 16 innings. I guess we'll still. I guess we'll still say it in the play, in the uh, playoffs. playoffs yeah. There's a Yorbit Vivas to 4.99 for the Dodgers chasing. By the way, the, these are these are slightly thicker cards right there on those. Uh, I don't know what they call these, but they look pretty cool. Here's our second auto of the box. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. That's Ronier Quintero, 451 out of 499 for the Cubs. Jeremy Harder with the Cubbies. Uh, no, Michael. The schedule's in the chat. I think that's going to be an important resource for you and everybody to use. This is break one. Yeah, was there an Indians game Rex remembers a few years back that went 26 innings? I mean, I guess technically that could still happen. Because, I mean, I don't know if it even makes the game go faster, does it, Nick? Because what if everyone has the runner on second, they just keep scoring one run, one run, one run, one run, really one run. Quickly. But they can just trade runs, can not they? Yeah, but now like the Angels hit a two on home run, so now the Red Sox are gonna have to. That's true, two. yeah. I feel like baseball's now just whoever hits one home run that game is gonna win. It's just gonna win. Although you see what they they mess around with the baseballs though. Yeah. Like a lot of a lot of home runs. Yeah, they did. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they're going out. There's Bobby Witt Jr. to 125. And there's Randy Vasquez, our third autograph. And that'll be for, there you go, Kayshawn with the Yankees. And we've got Green Speckle C.J. Abrams, who I think maybe got called up. Maybe made his debut. That's for the Padres, that's for Kareem. Bobby Wood Jr., Bowman 100. Sorry, oh, that's right, to 125. Andrew with the Royals. I don't know when he's returning. I have no idea, middle of maybe a couple more months maybe? All right, so we had our, we'll do an autograph recap at the end as well. And there's uh, Nico Cavadas. 117 out of 250, purple chrome, going to Addison and the Red Sox. Is Joe Adele washed, Nick? Sent down. Yeah, I know. I saw that. Uh, I think it's just not what people thought he would be. I guess, well, Taylor Ward, Brandon Marsh is pretty good. Marsh is good. So. Maybe put the Joe Adele cards back in the drawer. Dust off the bread and marshes. Good insurance run. Red Sox are technically this year, though. Yeah, that was a little 
I thought they'd be a little bit better this year. There he is. There's, we're just talking about him. There's Red and Marsh. Insert. Oswald Cabrera. Another Yankees autograph for Keishan. Yeah, they, they, they were the Robins for a little bit way back in, way back in the day. The Brooklyn Robins. Bridesgroom. Bride's Groom, I think, was another uh, another name for them for a little bit in the early 1900s. Let's go, Jared. He went to Jared. There you go. I got Jared Walsh on my fantasy team. Damn. Alex and I were crying earlier today because we were just like, why did we spend so much for Jared Walsh? We showed you guys. Yeah, he heard us. He was just like, we'll show you guys. Six run top of the tenth. No worries, Keishon. Thanks for uh, thanks for buying in. We appreciate it. Some great prospect hunting here, ladies and gentlemen. There's Jay Allen purple paper to 199 for Greg and the Red Legs. There's Luis Verdugo for the Cubbies. Jeremy Harder with the Cubs. Bowman first refractor. And our third autograph of the box is going to be Khalil Watson. Miami Marlins, Mark N. with the fish. 16th overall pick, nice. So those are your three autos. Let's see if we can find some fun parallels here at the end. Presents the case, folks, on on the cart here. There's one jumbo box. Here's another jumbo box. Another jumbo box. Awesome. Thanks, Nick. And that's the break right here, folks. One, two, three, four, five, six boxes right here. Packs are stacked. And so that's going to save us a good chunk of time. So let's breeze through these three autos a box once again. Remember, Bowman first are the only paper that's shipping. Per the item description, which I'm sure everybody read. These cards are cool. A little bit on, on a thicker card stock. Yeah, Rex, help us uh, pass the time. Hit us with the trivia. Rex has a trivia question. The entire history of baseball, how many Boston teams have been, have there been, and can you name them? MLB professional team? Are you saying dating back to like the 1890s? They had some random teams back in the 1800s before they settled on the Red Sox and Boston Braves. But there must have been a handful of different iterations that maybe only lasted a season or two. 
in the early days. So basically, who were the who were the boss who were the baseball teams in Boston that were not the Braves and Red Sox, right? That's the question. Does anyone anyone want to venture a guess? Maybe some Boston sports historians out there. There's Luca Luca Thresh Tresh, double O two out of one fifty blue paper for the Royals. Andrew. I want to say. There had to be a Boston like Bean Eaters team or something like that. So there are three others Rex is saying. There's Pablo Aliendo, Jeremy Harder with the Cubs. It's our first autograph of the box. From what you saw, like, I mean, just look up, uh, I mean, I guess we could look up, well, don't look it up, folks. Not yet, anyway. But Baseball Reference will have all those. Should have all those team names. A purple autograph. That's Jack Suwinski. 160 out of 250. Nice. Like seeing color with the autos. That is for Chad and the Pirates. There's Carlos Aguirre to 199 for the Twins. Fuchsia parallel for DMAC and Minnesota. No, no one's venturing guesses. Well, Rex hit us with the hit us with the Red Sox team names, or I guess the Boston professional baseball team names that are not the Braves and not the Red Sox. There's Yuenski Noel, 21 out of 100. No one's venturing a guess. three autos already so let's see if we can find some some numbered cards here we got some Noel V. Marte 43 out of 199 Fuchsia Lava for the Mariners that'll be for Patrick They were the Boston Reds at one point. Boston Bees. I see. I remember Bees. I don't remember Reds or Boston Americans as uh, as team names there. They must have had red stockings at some point, no? I thought they, I thought they maybe had a season or two of the red stockings. There's a Yon Yon Kenzie Noel again, 234 out of 299 speckle auto this time for Mark and the Cleveland Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you. You got Yachty, 
to two ninety nine fuchsia paper for the Cardinals. That'll be for Barry. Barry David. Should be expecting two more outs on the box. I think that was just the first one. I do see a little bit of this color here. Let's see if it's some color on the auto. Yeah, we do have some color. It is for the Red Legs. Alan Serta, 190 out of 250. Greg B, Cincinnati. Track of the autos here, and we'll do an autograph recap at the end. There's Braylon uh, Minier to 75, yellow speckle. Also for you, Greg, and the Reds. There's our third autograph. It's another red for Greg. Justice Thompson, Bowman first autograph. Justice is served. I like Mr. Red on his on his sleeve right there as well. There's Malcolm Nunez, 43 out of 499. Who's the very first very first baseball team in what year? That I, I have no idea. That must I mean the first baseball team must have been like the 18 1890s. There's uh, Zayed Salinas to 125. Reds are one of the oldest teams in baseball. Professional baseball, at least. They've been around forever. All right, next jumbo. The since ah see there I knew there was a red stocking team it was the Cincinnati Red Stockings. There's Mizell Gonzalez Speckle to two, 1869. Wow, I didn't think it was that early. One 
White Sox, by the way, Greg. With that speckle. And we got another Yankee, Oswald, Oswaldo Cabrera. 19 out of 75, Bowman first autograph. It's another one for Kayshawn. Got the Yankee straight up, being rewarded with some autos. Jackson Coar to 199, purple paper. And a junior, San Quentin to 199 for Cleveland. Guardian with that fusion parallel. Uh, that'll be for Mark. And Andrew has the Royals. Next stack here. Is that a super nice one? Good. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I, I, I'm usually a little more prepared when Bowman comes around because it kind of snuck up on me. So I'm not super familiar with a lot of these names, but teams were picked up really quickly. So it looked like, looked like prospectors knew what they were going for. Oh, thanks, everybody for making this all happen. Appreciate it. And we got a Twins autograph. That is Carlos Aguirre. Aguiar, maybe? Minnesota, Darren. Got a speckle autograph for the Cubbies, 295 out of 299. Ronier Quintero. That is for Jeremy Harder and the Cubs. Got purple paper right here. Simon uh, Muziotti, 172 out of 250. Bowman first purple paper for Austin and the Phillies. Won that team in the filler. Won the Phillies in the filler. All right, there are your three autographs. Next jumbo box. Good luck, everybody. Onwards. 
And we've got a Nico Cavadas. 110 out of 499. Addison with the Red Sox. We just suffered a six run top of the 10th from the Angels. Angels close it out. Now I, now I switch it to LA Kings at Oilers. Game two, Stanley Cup playoffs. My uh, uh, Rex saying I was watching something on YouTube last week where they're saying Abner Doubleday died without knowing that he actually created baseball. How so? I mean, he knew about the game. Are you saying not knowing that it would be as organized? Yeah, or to see how the uh, how far that game actually went. Okay, yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Here is Dustin Harris, Bowen first autograph for the Rangers, Alex. I mean, I feel like that happens often, right? I'm I'm sure the inventor of golf in like Scotland just probably never thought it would blow up the way it has. There's Elvis Martinez to 250. Second half of this jumbo box, looking for one more auto out of here. Here is Gavin Conticello. You think he goes with a Conticello or do you think he goes with a Conticello? That's uh, Diego with the Diamondbacks. I guess Conticello would, would be a little more Italian, I guess, if he wants to go with that pronunciation. Don't know. We'll have to wait for him to make it to the bigs, Diego, to see how he wants his name pronounced in the media guide. Do I ever read the Adam Sandler movie, Netflix movie called Ridiculous Six? No. What's that about? And here's Brady House, 49 out of 50 high five futures. Gold, take it to the house. Giuseppe with the Nationals. So we've got some lime green on the bottom there, and it's it is for Cleveland.
to 399. George Valera, 228 out of 399. Lime green paper for Mark Bissett and the Guardians. Two more boxes to go. Almost there. All right, so here is the first jumbo box. Let's get this. And here is the second jumbo box. You can kind of see in the background camera right there. All right, almost there. This is it for jumbo one. Good luck. It's a Western comic. When did. Is this a recent movie? I've, I have not heard of this. We got Andre Lara, 35 out of 199 for Giuseppe and the Nationals. 2015? This is the first I'm hearing of this. This is this was a Netflix production? We got a Jerry Vargas to 399. Mark Bissett with the Brew Crew. First autograph of this box is for the O's. It's Creed Willems. It's Greg with the O's. Our first train whistle it is five out of five Leover Paguero oh, man there looks like there's these dents right there in the front this looks like it's from the manufacturing process you can see that those two indents right there which is a real shame I would who has the pirates Chad I would check with tops I'm not sure if it's gonna be a very fast process but they might be able to get you a replacement there. But nevertheless, our first train whistle out of these Bowman breaks. Chad, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. I think he is one of their sort of top prospects. I think he was first in Bowman maybe a year or two ago, either in Bowman or draft. And we got a Rocky Speckle autograph. 89 out of 299, Warming Bernabel. Wow, Warming Bernabel. Warming, that's a great name. That Speckle autograph going to the Rocks, Andrew with the Rockies. And our third autograph is Anthony Rodriguez, Bowman first auto for the Giants. That'll be for Steven. Steven W. won that spot in the filler. Got the Giants. Um, who are we looking for in Bowman? That's a good question, Gilo. I'm not too sure. I think there's a, uh, a Watson on Miami, De La Cruz, Cincinnati, Valera on Cleveland, Wood for the Padres, a Montgomery for the White Sox, Vivas for the Dodgers. 
Juan Franco, Tampa Bay. Those are some of the some of the bigger names. Twenty nine seventy five, Luis Gonzalez, yellow paper. But I mean, since this is Bowman, it's just future hunting, prospecting. So any one of these players could be could be the big name. The big names that are big now may not be big in a few years, and names that were not big now could be big in a few years. That's the beauty of this Bowman product. I do remember Mag Magnificent Seven. Oh, so it's a parody of Magnificent Seven. I got you. Darren Baker, I think, yeah. Darren Baker is Dusty Baker's kid. Remember when, when he was three years old, he ran onto the field in the, 20, to the 2002 World Series and was scooped up by J.T. Snow. Darren Baker. That's for, that's for Giuseppe. And you know what, Giuseppe? I, I want to say his dad, Dusty Baker, had a milestone win. Did he, win, did he have his 2,000th win or something like that as a manager? And I want to say that same night, Darren Baker for his single A or double A team had uh, had hit a walk off home run. So a nice day for the for the Baker family, Dusty Baker, for, former Dodger. There's Matt Manning to 99. See, got all sorts of information for you. Matt Manning for Detroit Green Paper for Greg. Yeah, it was 2000, right, Rex? Yeah, I saw that. All right, nice. Final jumbo box. Gilo, what happened to Bobby Witt Jr.'s first home run ball? I did see the replay of that. That was, that was a nice hit. And I scooped it off the ground. We got Luis Gonzalez, Fuchsia, to 2.99. And we've got, there you go, Rex was just talking about this guy, Jordan Wicks, 101 out of 250. That's for Jeremy Harder and the Cubbies. Yeah, your first round, 21st overall pick. And there's Malcolm Nunez, 299. I did not see that. Two 11-year-olds ran on the field and they were tackled like... Security tackled, tackled him like it was a football game? Those kids will... Uh, those kids will bounce right back. Harrison Bader threw the ball into the fountains? How uh, how did he get the ball back? And for the Diamondbacks, there's Ryan Bliss. That'll be for Diego and the Snakes. Second round pick.
So, oh, the someone in the crowd dropped it onto the field. He picked it up and threw it in the fountains. Come on, yeah. Guy's first homer. So what happened? Were they able to dig it out? Yeah, come on, Harrison Bader. And we've got our third autograph and our final one of the break, Brandon Valenzuela. 346 out of 499. That'll be for the Friars, Kareem, with the Padres. Nice refractor autograph. Now, let's see if we can find some numbered cards, some low numbered cards before we call it. Damn. There's Adiel Amador to 399. Nice lava parallel. So Gilo's saying they did fish the ball out and got it. I don't oh, so Hader probably didn't know it was. Or Harrison Bader probably didn't know it was his first home run ball. Yeah, I don't think I don't think any home run ball I would I would pick up and throw back into the fountain. It's a little uh I don't know. He's a big leaguer, right? He's a pro. He shouldn't have to shouldn't be doing that. And that, my friends, is that. No randomizers do, no nothing. A nice, clean start to finish break. Appreciate everybody getting into the action. All right, here's a quick uh, recap, autograph recap. Thanks, everyone. Oh, plus that five out of five. No redemptions in this. A lot of nice color here. So thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.